I think I'll wall it the same I've always done. Other shatters. They're similar. Oh. That lane's gonna suck. Do that weird shit that's like this. That covers this whole part. Gets the wall. Get the protons up here, which I'll start, I mean. Like this. So I can do V, and I think I'll do V, because instead of more freeze chance, I'll get more damage this way for Dio. And it's longer, so it's basically the same as more freeze chance. Just means things won't be dying right away. And as long as I don't place it terribly, I should at least whittle things down. Uh, let's do it more like down here. Let's do it in a way where I can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, like that. I guess probably like the halfway through there, which is fine. Do sky guys up here. Both sides, check. So then it's over here that I'm not sure about. But that's a good sign, I just used just like 10 to use short of half the DU. Still, that's not enough to do two walls here, right? Like if I wanted to um, put the wall in the normal spot here. Not to mention like things are going to be hitting the gate. Alternatively, I could build down here, but... It's not great either. If I can try single walling it, then... This... Ah, oh god, this lane. Because the only supposed to do like confident single walls are back here, but I can't get the earth shatters in similar positions. But like, can I guarantee they'll stop on the wall here in the spot I want them to? Like I'll even stick this shitter up here. Like on top of this thing to not take damage, but even then it's not really going to be getting great coverage of the wall itself. Is what a berserk like goes to the side of it. Can I put it here? And hopefully it just has enough aggro for the berserks. Any good ideas for buried Bastille C3? Uh, I mean most lanes, yeah. I mean doing all that. C3 is the geode one. Flame ores or flame throwers. Uh, frosty towers, like a frosty tower per lane for slows walls. Um, stuff like that. Really? This is my go-to Sky Guides for Air. I guess that's not really anything Huntress related, but, you know, meta is meta. Oops. So that, that's... And how much do I have left over? Hmm... So then I would really riskily put Skyguards here, because they have no health, but... 
They'll be able to pound town the EMP kobolds when they pop their head. And I've done this already, just when they had HP. Maybe I should put that one back on just to be safe. Now you know what? Gotta be brave. That gets all the kobold spots when they last... When they have to get hit. And then I'm left with 10 DU. Or 20 DU. I think that means I get a little weird with this one since I'm not really doing either of those lanes great. How I set it up though, I'm not really sure. But I've got two more chains for this one. I don't know. Um, that's six links. So what if I do like... Three... Four... <laughs> five, six? I'll stick this one in the middle, because it's for both of them. There's just this awkward dead zone here, but I think the Earth Shatter at least covers that area too. I don't know, this entire build's terrible. But I've done worse. I don't know if I've beaten worse, but I've done worse. Oh, also, let's do the, um... Switch off onto you thing. Map has way too much mana. Yeah, Barry Best Steel, I think they went a little overboard with the, um... Extra mana, even extra DU. All of it. Alright. These two, because it's awkward over here. Am I really doing this? This seems so bad. Please be enough damage. Top lane has Berserks going for the wall. That's the problem too with how I set him up. I don't know if the uh, Earth Shatter is going to clear the walls off pretty fast, so I'll have to AoE down with the Protons pretty soon. For this one in the uh, other lane. They've got great like Earth Shatter coverage because of the angle, but the AI. So yeah. Skyguard is the tier 2, and then Protons all the way of course. It's the only thing left. Hmm? It's not going so bad, first wave. But now we've got two lanes here, we'll see how it is. I could get lucky and get only easy lanes from it. We'll see. But yeah, Chilla, let, let me know, like, that's what I would recommend doing for progression. Seems like a pretty solid way of doing it. But, if you have any other questions, let me know. Alright, two Skyguards, and I can do the Protons in each lane one more time as well. So hopefully, now... Is there set up right, right? I didn't like move the stuff around. Fence ray, crit damage, frosty beams. No, yeah. That's right. I think I should be okay. Yes, it is an easy lane. Perfect. 
Uh, did I get all the waves or lanes? Thought I had not this much left. No, that's all of them. Um, I'll hold on to it though. Well, actually, what's the boss? Maltheus? Let's see. I wouldn't mind doing those sky guides again. Take him out. Oh, yes. This, I think this Earth Shatter, yeah, this Earth Shatter is hitting them down below, so it's actually like quite the nice little semi combo. Yeah, those are. I think those Sky Guards I want to buff because I can see them dying to an EMP Cobalt. It's such an awkward spot. And I think they will gain a little, like another level boost or something soon, right? Maybe not. Oh, the fact that they're hitting him there, that's ter- <laughs> that's scary. That's scary. But maybe not the end of the world? But even more so, that makes me want to do it. Because what could be happening is... They hit the uh, EMP Cobalts when they're here, and then those EMP Cobalts rage onto terrain, which is the most likely scenario for that. Yeah, wall's taking damage. I gotta be careful of this wall, because your Shedder is not covering it very well. Easy lane from there again, but I can do all the Protons one more time, and maybe even all the Sky Guards? Or the two sky guys, I mean, on that end. Let's see what the mana's like, but I think I can. Yeah, and in fact, I could do all the sky guys one more time. So let me do that. Really, really can't afford to <laughs> lose sky guys to EMP Cobalts. The bosses are Griblock and Tuskar. Tuskar? I, I imagine Tuskar won't make it through the Protons. Griblock probably will. And it does depend though, like, Tuskar won't make it through if there's... If the Earth Shatter is allowed to hit it only. Griblock I think is too fast either way. Oh god, just let myself get hit. Ugh, not gonna make that jump. It doesn't look like there's too much grouping on the walls. Other than maybe like this one. Please freeze. Please freeze. Alright, don't freeze. Just die for me. Oh, look at that. I don't think Griblock... Oh, no, maybe he did. That wall took a lot of damage. Like, I don't think that Griblock made the wall. Nope. So I'll do the walls at least to tier 2. I don't know if I want to do tier 5 protons yet. It is still, like, a pretty decently like, efficient upgrade. Mm hmm. So I'll leave this lane, it's an easy one, there's no priority targets in it, only four, uh, Berserks. This one in Roller Lane, I think I'll buff those walls. In fact, I'll- not walls, I mean, uh, Protons, and I think I'll just do it for this one, bottom one in. Up top here. Alright, so, Ogre is probably gonna get taken down on its own. Hexthor should die to Protons. Seedrill's got not that much space to get through, but I should be able to take it out too. 
Assassin will be a pain, as for normal. I'm not really sure how protons deal with them. I've seen them like freeze off from protons, but sometimes it feels like they're just not getting hit at all. When they're clinging to me, that is. And I think I have to DPS them with the Skyguard's help, of course. Seeing stuff on the wall in the north lane, but it wasn't too, too bad. How's it doing? Maybe it was just the boss that took it solo, which, in which case, that's fine. To be expected. Now let's keep this area clear. I want it <laughs> open for when I get jumped on. Ow, and ouch. I think they're both good, so let me go hide, heal up, and then DPS. Please don't hit the Earth Shatter. Holy frig, I'm dumb. No, I think I'm wide enough. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the last uh, proton line. Maybe the walls one more time, and I could justify doing our shatters once at the end. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I have enough to do them all, but... Even as a really inefficient upgrade, it seems like it's okay. Man, yeah, this was an easy lane the whole map. Malthus. Um... Probably good to go. Ogre, I don't expect to make the wall. Quibbly might, so let's... Off this wall, it's also a heavy lane. So let's just do that. So, Malthus, eventually will go down. Might still be a huge pain in the ass in its own way. And here's the test. Are two Sky Guards enough for Zapper? Oh god, that's terrifying. Yep. Two tier three sky guards at least. Or tier two. I only upgraded them once, right? That's probably where I should have put the mana. No, or tier three. Yeah, so I don't think he was getting or that Berserk was getting hit. Whew! Who dis? Monkey Mo, thanks for the follow. There we go. Aw, oh, you poured it out. You jerk. Ogre didn't make the wall at all. Not even close. But it was the only thing in that lane. Protons or Shatter didn't have a chance. I have no idea what happened to Quibbly. I guess it spawned. But I guess it's a non-issue. Alright, that went a lot better than I thought it would. Well, I mean, I thought it'd be okay. Assuming the protons are strong enough, and I guess they were. Some wall damage, unsurprising. But yeah, that went a lot better than I thought it would. It's a pretty DU efficient map. Well, I mean, it's like, what, 225 per lane? Not bad at all. GG. What was this? This is Ral's build that I also decided to do unrelated to his thought, but it's Ral build. This is for Ral.
How many of those boots do I have? I'm pretty sure I actually have a bunch of that stack combo boots, and I don't know if I'll ever use them. Just need so much HP all the time. Alright. GG. Easy build, easy life. 